Satanic Temple threatens to sue if school bar its leaders from chaplain program in Florida. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at their faces. Look at the eye. Look at artificial eye. <laughs> they are saying that they are against and they are trying to sue if the public schools bar their leaders from chaplain program in Florida, <laughs> America, <laughs> America, in Ghana, in most African countries, you cannot tell your, you cannot say you are a witch, they will kill you. <laughs> you cannot. But America, because of their they call it freedom of religion and everything. Yeah, freedom of religion. But witches, we all know what witches do to us. And they say they will, they, will, they will sue. They want to, if you treat, they want to train the minds of these young, young boys and girls. So they will, they will choose the devil, the devil, against whatever is good. Two bills recently introduced in the Florida legislature that will allow volunteer chaplains to provide counseling services in public schools has prompted the satanic temple to threaten legal action if its members are barred from participating. Senate Bill 1044 and its companion House Bill 933, which already passed the Florida House of Representatives last month, will also mandate that principals in schools with volunteer chaplains tell parents about it and offer them a list of the volunteers of whom will be subject to a background check. Parents will be allowed to choose from the list of chaplains and allow their children to receive counseling with written permission. Those representatives from the Satanic Temple have expressed a desire for their chaplains to be introduced in such offerings. I quote, any opportunity that exists, that is, uh, exists for ministers or chaplains in the public sector must not discriminate based on religious affiliation. Penny Gregory who serves as the Satanic Temple's director of ministry, told the, the Tallahassee Democrats, our ministers look forward to participating in opportunities to do good. <laughs> they call it doing good in the community. They are saying that whatever they do is good. They are saying that we think whatever they do is bad, but they know whatever they do is good. Their ministers look forward to participating in opportunities to do good to the, in the community, including the opportunities created by this bill right alongside the clergy of other religions. No, the Muslim, the, the certain people, they will say they are not a religion. But you see what they are saying? They are saying they should also be included. You see the hypocrisy. They are saying they are not a religion. Lucien Grimes, co-founder of the Satanic Temple, spoke against what he described as the legislation's attempt to allow a backdoor for religious instructions and proselyting evangelism in Florida public schools, according to Fox News Digital. So they are fighting, these nine people. Anton Lave was the one who started. He was the main founder of the Satanic Temple in America. He's dead. And what I heard was, it was, he realized his mistakes. Before he died, he was asking God to forgive him and the mistakes he has done. But look at his, the, uh, the co-founder, Lucien Greaves. He's speaking, still speaking for the Satanic Temple people. <laughs> In an effort to dismiss concern about bringing religious viewpoints into schools, advocates for chaplain bills have a scripted response that insists their interest is in merely providing additional emotional support for potential trouble for potential trouble youth. Griffiths told the athletes, "They are saying that if there's there are youth that are troubled spiritually or mentally or physically, they can help them. The devils you even say they can help them. The devil is a liar." This also, this also said that the school district can, can expect legal action if satanic priests are prohibited from participating in the chaplain program, which will go into effect on July 1st, 2024, and largely, the, largely be left for additional districts to govern, according to the local Fox, one, a local Fox 35. They should, also not, they should also not want to waste public funds or the lawsuit that's certainly going to lose, lose because some of the some super superfluous effort to put chaplains in schools on a false rationale. Graves told the athletes. Florida State 
said, uh, Florida says, uh, said it, a, a ring girl, a Republican who represents Vero Beach, did not immediately respond to the Christian Post's request for comment, but said she is concerned about the potential of Sudanese police taking advantage of the legislation she sponsored. I quote, but I think that as soon as we get in the middle of the defining, in the middle of defining what is religion and what is not, and whether or not someone can be available and be on the list, we start to run up to constitutional problems, Grace said, according to the Tallahassee Democrats. So I think that, so I think that as making sure that it's open and available to anyone who wants to put themselves through their background screening and let parents know they are available for, for that service. It is the best way to go, she added. The Satanic Temple of Iowa also made news in the lead up to Christmas last December when they prompted fierce debates even among Republican lawmakers by erecting a statue of the Bat Hobbits near a, a, a nativity scene in the Iowa state capital. You see, they they erected a, a Bahamut statue at Iowa in the public. You see, the certain people are promoting Satan. You call yourself a Christian? Are you promoting Jesus Christ? I'm not saying go and draw Jesus Christ, and but there's no problem with that also. But you promote Jesus Christ by telling people about Christ and what He does in your life and what He can do for them. Promote Jesus Christ. Tell people about Christ, and if you tell people about Christ, God will bless you. You see how the devil. And the people who are serving the devil, you see how they are promoting him, making statues in Iowa. Michael Cassidy, a U.S. Navy veteran and former GOP candidate for the Mississippi House relative, traveled from Mississippi to Des Moines and chopped the display on December 14th. Yes, I like this man. I like this man. He went to Iowa and destroyed the, he cast away that statue. He's alive. The devil is coming. Touch him. He destroyed his war veteran. He just threw the, the statue, our devil statue. Kazi has since been charged with third degree criminal mischief in violation of individual rights, a class D felony under the Iowa State crime statute. Florida, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis came out in support of him following the following the, the incident. Thank God for Ron DeSantis. May God bless you, Ron DeSantis, for supporting this man. And, and yes, it is wrong to erect a statue for Satan. And Christians, you need to stand and speak for Christ. You need to stand. May God bless you. May God touch you. I'm Dr. Nibu J. Chrysolite. Please, even as you watch this video, we have other videos on this channel. Go and subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel and share the videos. May God bless you. May God touch you. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.